Hello from very cold Michigan. It's Jill from What Jill Wears and it is freezing in Michigan. Although I feel like in my area, we're pretty lucky because it's sunny today and we don't have a ton of snow. I know that the west side of Michigan is getting just plowed with snow right now from lake effect and uh, a lot of school closings and stuff because of it. Um, but our schools are still in and we're doing all right over here. It's just really cold. <laughs> Today I have a Trendsend to unbox. Trendsend sends you sometimes a ton of stuff. And I think that Today is one of those days because my stylist Jill at the warehouse is awesome and she always sends me so much to try on because I told her that I do these videos and I love to show you guys as much as possible. I'm really excited about some of the stuff in here too. Um, and I haven't been that excited lately because I feel like people just don't have stuff. Like the inventory is low or something. I don't know. So here is what she says. Jill, happy Trend Sunday. I hope you rang in the new year with some fun and loved ones. This box is arriving just in time to have your closet start 2022 off strong too. You'll love the pop, the pops of color and the pieces that will carry you through the rest of winter and can be worn into warmer weather. If you have any vacations coming up or are just wishing for warmth, I can't wait to read through your feedback and see what you love. Enjoy trying everything on styled for you by Jill C. And that is at the warehouse, which I think is in Minnesota, I believe. Okay, so they curate several outfits for you. We will go over pricing at the end after I do a little try on, but what's nice is they make these little outfits for you so there's four different options and you kind of use some things for some things and some things for other things um, and she tells you kind of how to do that um, yeah so that's very helpful especially if you are not fashion savvy and don't have any idea how to put things together transcend is so awesome with that Transcend comes from Every, which is a store that are in bigger areas usually. And um, if you don't have one, you can also buy online. So let's check out the bundles. These things are huge. Okay, we'll start with this one. First is a sweater. This is so soft and so pretty. This is by BB Dakota by Steve Madden. Um, it must be some sort of dual partnership, but, um, yeah, super duper soft. Oh my gosh. It's so soft. So let's see the fabric. It is, oh, a hundred percent acrylic. Seriously, but it's so soft. Usually I feel like acrylic is like very, uh, itchy feeling, um, but I don't know, maybe this would be fine because it's so soft, because I don't like acrylic normally. Um, and because it has this open weave, maybe it wouldn't be as hot feeling, because I feel like acrylic is like not very breathable because it's not, it's a, th a synthetic fabric. Um, but this feels really nice and it's really, really pretty. So we'll try it on and see. You never know, you never know. Okay, and then next is, um, this is a top by Michael Stars. This again is so soft. So this looks like a little throwback um, with the, like, the little rainbow pattern on the side. It kind of reminds me of uh, the 80s, <laughs> which I grew up in. And oh my gosh, this is so soft. This is 49% polyester, 46% rayon, and 5% spandex. Seriously though, the most soft thing ever. Michael Stars is pricey though. They'll get you. All right, next we have just this thing. There's so much in here. I asked for sweaters and dressier tops, so I think she sent that. Okie dokie. This is a turtleneck sweater. Has those big balloon sleeves and the big turtleneck, and it's another open weave. Let's see the fabric of this. I did tell her I like natural fabrics. And I think 
mostly she sent that. So yeah, this is 100% cotton. Again, it is nice and soft. It's not as soft as that other one though, the acrylic one, surprisingly. But um, yeah, that one's really nice too. I really like that color. Next up. Oh, this is really cute. This is very Jill. This is by, oh, did I say, I didn't say who this is by. This is by 525. All right, this next sweater is by John and Jen. Love the black and cream stripe, super cute. This one feels like another cotton sweater, like it's soft, but not super duper soft. Yes, it is 100% cotton. Has like the little mock neck. And I think this could be a cute one, a little tucker in her. Mm -hmm. Looking for those chunky sweaters. Okay, next is a little blouse. This is by Allison Joy. Has some fun sleeves. There is the pattern for ya, almost like a snake skin look to it. This is 100% polyester, which I'm trying to get out of my closet. So we'll see. And the next one is, this is by Cloth and Stone. This is a, a nice, um, they always have nice fabrics. This is really cute. This also looks like a little faux, like leopard. This looks really cute. Again, this is also a very expensive brand. 55% Cupro and 45% rayon. I think Cupro is like a viscose type because it feels kind of viscosey. And there are buttons all down the front, all the way down to the bottom. That's really, really cute. That's really cute. All right, next we have some Hudson jeans. Again, I know Hudson are pretty pricey. Nice light wash. Oh, a little flare bottom. So I did tell her I wanted to try some different, different kind of jeans. So yeah, we'll try them. They're called the Barbara. High waist, super skinny crop. And lastly, We have a blazer. This is super cute. This is by Avery. Definitely have also been looking for a blazer. So hopefully this will work out. It does have some light shoulder pads in there, but I really like it. I love the colors in it. Really, really nice. Nice buttons on the sleeve, kind of like a double breast look in the front. Cute. Okay, next is a t-shirt by Michael Stars. Oh, Michael Star is so expensive, but good brand, good brand, good quality. This is super cute. Little graphic. It says like bliss bliss, fresh air, hello, fall in love, sunshine, fresh air, dreamer, sunset weekend, only good days, happy. Breathe, de la flor, sunshine, feel the breeze, here comes the sun. So yeah, that's super cute. And it's kind of like a crop. Very soft. Lastly, she said these are just the most comfortable pair of jeans. These are by frame. They're called Le One Mid-Rise Crop Mini Boot. So they are a gray-ish color. They do just have like a little bit of a boot cut at the end. They do look super cute, but I know they're gonna be expensive too. Ah. Okay, that is my big bundle. So much to try on, so let's get to going. Here we go. Everything feels so nice on. I love this outfit. It is so me. The denim, oh my gosh, it is so soft. And like she said, it feels amazing on. Let me tell you what she said. This is outfit one and it says denim update number one. 
This pair by frame may be a little more than you would typically spend, but they feel so good on. She's so right. Pair with the blazer and the graphic for an on-trend look. So, yes. So, so cute. The only thing they don't tell you is what shoes to wear. So I put on some taller boots underneath because um, I think that's the only way you could wear these pants other than wearing like sandals with them. Do you guys have any other recommendations on what to wear with a cropped boot <laughs> pant? They're really cute though. Man, they're soft. I did just get a pair like this that are regular denim by Liverpool that I kept from my JB and Me style box. So I don't need these per se, but they do feel very nice and I'm nervous that they're gonna be super duper expensive. So, okay, blazer time. So, so, so cute. I love that when you roll up the sleeves, it has this black underneath. I think that makes it somewhat like rockerish, which I love. And then you can, I think, button somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if that I would, but let's see. Oh, I guess there's just the one button. So these buttons here are just faux, just for look. So that's kind of what that looks like buttoned up. I would not button it. <laughs> looks much better out. So you could definitely dress this down. You could dress it up. You could put it over like a really cute like black dress. I think that would be adorable. And you can also wear the sleeves down. And it's really soft and comfortable. Like the inside feels really, really, really soft and nice. I love how it has kind of this triangle shape. I think that's very flattering. Yay, super cute. Okay, and then here is the t-shirt. Love the length of the sleeves. This is my kind of t-shirt with a long sleeve like that. Love the crop length. You could tuck it in a little bit. You could leave it out. That's what it looks like out. Really cute in the summer with just like a pair of shorts. So this is outfit four technically, but it's the last one that has these um, frame denim on. So I just decided to keep them on and do outfit number four. This sweatshirt or whatever you want to call it, it's just kind of like a t-shirt material. It is so soft and comfortable. Oh my gosh. And the little rainbows up the side give it a really cute visual. I think it's such a great length. Um, I do have it tucked under just a little bit. Here is it out. But I kind of liked it tucked under. And it says, these colors will be stunning on you and the statement styles make for an instant outfit. The rainbow stripe down the side of the sweatshirt is an instant mood boost, which I agree. really really cute i haven't felt this good about a try-on in a really long time i am loving everything so this is the bb dakota sweater this is the one that's acrylic yeah um it feels so nice on it is so soft i think it's adorable the mock turtleneck or whatever it goes up just enough it's not too high up on the neck and the colors are really pretty. Love the sleeves. Little tuck in makes it super cute. And then here is it out. I think I prefer it tucked in. Just that little tuck makes a big difference. This is really nice. It doesn't feel too heavy or too lightweight. It's just like the perfect weight. 
maybe I'll change my mind about acrylic. It sure would open up some options, but I don't know. I don't think everything is going to be this soft. <laughs> Before I show you this outfit, I did just want to say that the more I had that acrylic sweater on, the more I was feeling very sweaty. So I think it's still not breathable for me. Just saying. <laughs> I was like doing things and putting new outfits together and taking shoes off and stuff. And I was like, okay, maybe this is warm. <laughs> okay, so next it says denim update number two. This is outfit number two. This pair is a little more casual to wear daily for dinner. Rock a mix of casual and elevated with the blouses. You'll appreciate the necklines and the pops of color. So this is the Riley Satin Button Blouse by Allison Joy. Um, this is the polyester one. I have the Hudson jeans on. And I probably will put my own jeans on after this because these are a little snug. And I just don't feel like they're super flattering. I don't know. I guess they're not terrible. They look super cute with this blouse. I just put those black boots on again. I just feel like they're the only thing I really have that looks great with the boot cut. This is a really cute blouse. It is polyester though, so I don't know. It does look really, really nice though. I do like it. The sleeves are super cute. Kind of like that triangle. Love how it sort of, if you tuck it in, it sort of looks like a crisscross in the front. Very flattering. All right, so I just decided to keep these jeans on for this blouse too. And then maybe for the last couple sweaters, I'll switch them out. But yeah. Um, this is the Plop and Stone blouse, and it feels super nice on. I think it's super cute. Don't know that I love it untucked. I do really like the neckline. I think tucked in is a little bit more flattering. But it always gets me when it has like this line here because I feel like it kind of brings your chest down a little bit. Super cute and nice feeling though. Just don't think it's my favorite in the box, but I thought I was going to really like this one. Okay. Okay. So I put my own light colored jeans on because I kind of wanted to keep with how, like the feel of the outfits that she was going for, um, but not wear those ones again. So I put my own little sneakers on, my own light pair of denim on, and this is their sweater. So it is so cute. It is so me. I really like it. I think the only thing is the neck, if it would bother me. It's a little bit higher than I think I would like. If it were more of like a mock turtleneck or one that kind of came down a little bit, I think it would be good. But it's so cute. Ah, so very much me. It's just, would that neck bother me? Although on these cold days, if I were to go outside, it would be nice to have my neck covered. This is really cute though. All right, I have one more sweater. Last sweater. So I kept my jeans on, kept my sneakers on, just put the new sweater on. And this is so comfortable and so cute. Looks really good, just like with a little tuck in the front. And it has this like big collar. So it's not up on my neck, but it still kind of leaves some warmth up here, these big floppy sleeves that are oversized. I love that. So I really like this one.
There is an untucked. Definitely feel like it's just a tucker inner kind of sweater. You could definitely, I think, roll these sleeves up. Very cute. All right, let's do pricing and recap. So I definitely have a no pile and I definitely have a maybe pile. What did you guys think? What should I keep? I don't know. I'm so torn. Okay, so pricing. Uh, because one of you clicked on my link, I get 20% off this entire box. So whatever I keep is 20% off. So the prices that I tell you are going to reflect that 20% off. Next discount, if you buy four or more, you get another 10% off, which is awesome. Not a huge discount, but any discount helps, right? And then I also got an email saying that if you purchase by a certain time on your Trendsend, that you get another 10% off whatever you keep, whether it be one item or four. So if I keep four or more, I will get pretty much another 20% off, which would be awesome. I think I can find four, although, ah, uh, so pricey. But again, I haven't been buying anything lately because I just haven't been impressed with anything in these boxes. And I need sweaters. I kept this one on because I wanted to see how hot I would get in it. It's feeling good so far. This is a cotton one, so breathable. All right. Speaking of, that's when I bought the cable turtleneck pullover in Malbec by 525 is $51.99. Not too bad. This is definitely a maybe. The Riley Satin Button Blouse in Slate Blue by Allison Joy, $65.60. I kind of love that top. Um, the polyester one. I don't know. I thought it looked really nice on and would be a really great kind of dressy top to wear if I needed one. Uh, I thought it was very flattering. So I don't know. That's a maybe. The Dry Sweater in B Multi. Beat Multi. <laughs> Um, by BB Dakota 7920. Okay, so that's a 100% acrylic one. So I think that one's going to go back because uh, $79 and acrylic and hot. I just won't wear it. The Leopard Button Down Blouse in Wine by Cloth and Stones 9490. Okay, so that was the other blouse that had the animal print on it. And I didn't really love it. I thought I would, and it felt really nice on. But I think I'm going to send that one back. The Thompson Blazer in Plaid by Avarive is $126.40. That's with the 20% off. Holy cow. I really like it. So that's definitely in the maybe pile. If I get the other 20% off of it, the 10% and the 10%, that could bring it down to a decent price. And I've been looking for a blazer that's kind of like rockish for a long time. So that could be it. We'll see. I'm going to try it on with some like uh, uh, of my other t-shirts and stuff and see how I feel. Okay. V let's see. Lay one crop mini boot, uh, in hues by frame is 182.40. Again, that's what the 20% off, uh, told you it was expensive. Those are going to go back and the Barbara high rise boot crop crop in summertime by Hudson 140. Those are also going to go back. I just, I think if the gray jeans were straight leg, maybe, I don't know. They felt really nice. The Gallagher striped turtleneck in cream and black by John and Jen 7840. I think that one's going to go back too. I think the neck would really bother me. But that was 100% cotton too. I don't know. We'll try it on with some other things and I'll think about it. The GG Stripe Trim Sweatshirt by an Admiral Combo by Michael Stars is $102.40. But oh my gosh, was that thing soft? And I thought it was really flattering and very, I think I would wear it a lot. Like it was really cute. The Lauren Graphic Tee in White by Michael Stars is $62.40. That's a t-shirt. Mm, expensive, but 
Michael Stars, you know. So that's my box. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. Thanks, Jill. That was a really good box. Okay, so four items. I'm thinking the blouse, the sweater, the sweatshirt, the blazer, and then my maybe pile my maybe, maybe pile is the sweater and the t-shirt. I mean, I have so many t-shirts, but it was really cute. So I have some decisions to make. Everything else is going to go back. And yeah, that was a really good box. I'm, I'm excited. Like I haven't been excited in a while by a box. And there's definitely stuff in here that made me excited. So I'm happy. Um, also a few of you asked about my hair. Yes, this is my natural curl. Um, I have been trying to do more of like a natural hair. Um, so you'll either see it in like braids or you'll see it like this, but it's a lot easier. And basically all I do is when it's wet, I use the, um, Aveda, smooth infusion cream so it's not frizzy and then I take a clip and I take my hair up here and I kind of bunch it up and then I clip it and I leave it and then I take the back of my hair and I do the same thing where I just sort of like scrunch it up and I clip it and then when I take it out it's all curly and I have a little bit of lift up here because I have flat head normally up top. So when I do that, when I kind of pile it up on top of my head and clip it, it gives me a little bit of a lift up there. So if you have curly hair and you've been trying to figure out a way to do curls, that is what I do. I do take a curling iron after and just do like a couple pieces that don't curl because if you're a curly girl, you know that there's always those few guys that just go whoop and they don't curl at all. So <laughs> I do curl a few, but most of this is mine. Like all this underneath. Yep, that's my little coily curls there. So yeah. Okay, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.